There are times as a teacher that you may need to have some documents translated from one language to other, another. Um, basically, you could have a foreign exchange student or a student with ESL or um, lots of different possibilities. Um, I found an online website, onlinedoctranslator.com, that will do this service for free. It does have a lot of ads because it is free, so kind of a warning on that. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the first set of ads. Right now, I could go ahead and do the translation, but I'm just going to show you a little bit on the website. Uh, they'll talk about what they're going to do, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I was doing PDFs, but it also does do uh, Word documents. So basically, I'm just going to click on Translate Now, and I think there's 104 languages that are it's available to translate. So let me just take, you can drag it into here or upload it. I'm just going to drag, since this was harder to find. And then it says, warning, um, may take a few minutes, and might not be perfect formatting. I did like this program because it did work on um, pretty good formatting. It'll detect the language, and let's just say I wanted this to be in Finnish. You can obviously do vice versa. I will translate this. And notice, again, the apps just start populating, and that's what um, does make this kind of annoying. And look at what they say there, and they kind of shift you and move you around. And then they want you, like, do I want it this? Well, basically, I just want to download my translated, and my PDF's opening up, sorry there. Uh, you would just like to download your translated document. And then you're like, did it do it or did it not? Um, right here, you'll notice this does preserve a lot of the formatting. It switches the uh, language, and it does look very similar. Now, it didn't do a few of the things here, but a lot of the text was actually changed and modified. Uh, so now you know how you can translate Word documents or PDFs.